Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of requests of how to add GIFs or animated prototypes to your UX design presentation. So this is an example of what I'm talking about here. So if you wanna learn how to do the same, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's jump straight into it. So here I am in the app store and the first step you wanna do is download this app called Giphy Capture. And when you download this, it's really important to go into your system settings, the screen recording permissions and make sure it is checked specifically for this software. So I'm going here, system settings, after you download it, right? I believe it's under privacy and security. Mm, under screen recording, here we go. And yeah, all of the software, you wanna make sure it is clicked uh, on for Giphy Capture. If not, then all the GIFs or animated prototypes you're trying to do is not going to work. So now that you have Giphy Capture installed, whatever prototype or flow you want to capture for your GIFs, you're going to put it in prototype mode. Here, I'm doing it without the case. And then you're going to open up Giphy Capture. And this is going to pop up. So then what you're going to do is these edges of the box, you will frame it to the edge of your uh, app design. So let's try our best to get it all settled in around there. Cool. And now when you have that captured, you're just going to press the button and then capture the moment of, or like the interactions that you want uh, as a GIF. So I'm going to press continue. Maybe you want to scroll through something, press something again, and then it leads to that. And that's the end of the interaction. Then I'm going to hit uh, stop the recording and you can't really see it too well. On the bottom, the thing I just captured will show up here. And you can see the animation that I just did. The mouse, continue, scroll, and to the final interaction. Nice. You can play with the loop type, normal, reverse, so it goes back at the end, so you have that type of thing. Um, it's totally up to you. And it also lists out the right the dimensions, duration, um, how big the file is. And depending on how big you want your file, you can always adjust it accordingly using these um, using these settings. And then what I like to do is save as. Let's save it to my downloads as a GIF and press save. Save as GIF. And now it's downloaded to your drive. So now what you're going to do is, in Google Slides, I mean, that's just a preferred software when I'm doing my presentation. And whatever slide you have it on, I want, say, my app prototype to be on the right-hand side here. Then the final step is to go into Insert, Image, and upload from computer, since Google Drive recognizes GIFs as an image instead of a video. So now I'm in my downloads folder, you can see the GIF project, open, and now you can adjust the size to however you want, and you can already see the mouse going um, and going through the prototype. Final step of what I like to do, and you can do this either directly in the Giphy capture or you can add it on separately is just importing like a PNG file of the uh, screen case. You can get this off like Google images and just import a PNG of like iPhone 14 into the slide and overlay it on top so it looks more realistic. Or you can just have the prototype itself with no case if that's what you desire. And then once you go into Slideshow Presentation, your GIF will automatically show in your Google Slides. So that is all for this mini tutorial. If you want it to be a bit more dynamic when doing your UX presentation, so I'll link the app to Giphy Capture for you to download in the description box. And do let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. And until next time, I will see you later.